They just don't make bourbon like they used to. Or do they? We're gonna find out. This is the third. Third installment. Third installment. Uh, Sarah, we can just tell them the scoreboard. To no one's surprise. <laughs> 16 old to four new. What is old, Chad? Old means... Not exactly vintage. Right. Hope, mm. Yeah, hopefully there, there's not a proof change, there's not a recipe change, there's uh, age stated year change is what we're hoping for. We're trying for, for that. Right. We're trying to, kind of trying to shoot around that 2000s mark to today. And some, yeah, much and, more. You know, some smaller age gaps, some wider, but. Right. Now, Sarah, if uh, this is swept all with new, that'd be 10 more points on the board. That would be 14 to 16. Well, then we would I definitely feel, have to do a. Yeah, that definitive. But I, I can maybe find two more instances. This might be the last episode. You so think we so? might make a definitive call at the end of this episode Ooh. if uh, they don't make bourbon like they used to. Or do they? Or do they? Yeah, we know what five bottles or ten bottles technically are in this, but we don't know the order. The sets are randomized, the order is randomized, so we'll just taste through five sets and uh, we'll find out the score. Ooh, this smells very cherry. This smells very kind of caramel and honey. I couldn't say just from the nose whether or not this is uh, more, more modern day modern or slightly older. Yeah, hmm. It's good nose. Good nose. I like it sort of right. honey bunches of oats to your health. Oh, that's a lot richer than I was expecting based off the nose. This is light, decent character. It's okay. Mm. If I had to guess, I don't know. I have to try the other one to say. It's not striking me as that much different than today's bottles. Sort of same with this one, but going off of your notes, I'm getting some different stuff. I'm getting a lot more uh, richer flavors deeper and darker, mm -hmm. um, and a really good mouthfeel, actually. Let me see about so now that. We're, now we're switching. From the nose alone, first of all, they don't smell very related at all. This one smells like it has more oak on it. Yeah. Oh, compared to that one, this one is thinner. It is thinner, it's a little harsher on the finish. This one, like you said, it's a little more rich, a little more oak, slightly more, you know, oh, well-rounded, balanced. Yeah. The cherry's nice, but yeah. I think I like the flavors and just the overall experience of this one better, this one that you had first. I would agree. I, I would say perception of proof, this one is a little harsher, but I feel like this one's got a good proof to it, but mm -hmm. I, I don't know where I would kind of place them, maybe around the 90s. All right, so you ready to call this one, Sarah? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. All right, we have chosen and we think this one's better and this one is Blanton's from 2024. No way! Yes, way. What's, Whoa! Now, what was the other one? This would be Blanton's from 2018. Okay, well, something to note about huh. these is that they are single barrels. They are single barrels. Um, that one had like the signature Buffalo Trace cherry, but I sure really did. just felt like this one was more well-rounded. So in this case, when it comes to single barrels, I think it's anybody's game anytime. This one, 2018. Now, this I mean, one six has years ago. been at this level for quite a a while. Mm -hmm. We haven't really been drinking on this particular Blanton's. This one was opened today. Now, most people would say that that would be a disadvantage. This one's had plenty of time to nicely open up and this one is a fresh crack, but it didn't go that way. No, it did not go that way. Scoreboard. Yeah, again, I think that's just a testament to the nature of single barrels. All right, so new is, uh, I mean, catching up a little. Not really. <laughs> not no, really. I think it, it's still, there's a, lot, a long ways to go. Next on the chopping block. Mm -hmm. We don't know, but you do. You can see. Oh, oh that's nice. This has sort of a caramel, peanut butter, <sighs> hint of earthiness, slightly wood notes. So, okay, so they're very much in line <laughs> with each other. Yeah, everything she said, I'll have what she's having, and maybe I am. Well, I am, but there's years between them. Very classic. Pretty, pretty classic, nose yeah. Over here. Well, to your health. Whoa. Richer. Again, Who's Richard. Richard? And Richard. why do you keep talking about him? Richard. <laughs> yeah, richer than I thought. I gotta say. This is pretty solid. Oh, it's got a funk, but in a weird way. Not like your your typical like vintagey funk. 
Now we should say, what is our youngest between years? I think it's six years for this episode. The, the smallest distance. The smallest distance is six years, and our largest, much like our last episode with the rare breed, is 21, 21 years. years. Yeah. Which some people might say that technically makes it vintage, because it's a 20 yeah. year difference. Well, you try to find bottles. <laughs> you, it, it's, it's hard. It's tough, it's tough. Hmm, I want to take All a, right. I need a second sip of this one. I, of course, I've already taken a second sip of mine, and I'm ready to experience okay. what you have. Oh, second sip. I like it better. I think mine smelled more Richard. Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. But I don't know. They're pretty close. It's not that big of a difference between the two. They're definitely related. Oh, that's easy. Okay. I, well, I'm i getting a lot of the same, same notes. notes, but I want to go back to that one. But this one tastes a little hotter, a little thinner. I completely disagree. The one you had first tastes hotter than Okay, it so me. it must be the AB. Now give me back. Uh, well, I don't know what he's Oh, he just wants to drink now. Now you're just drinking. <laughs> don't burn your palate out. We got three more sets to do. I know. That one's easy. There just seems to be something a little bit... Well, okay. Let's vote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh, we are split. All right, so this is the Jim Beam Devil's Cut from 2016 oh, right here in my hand. This is the Devil's Cut from 2022. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not All that right. that weighed in on my decision, but hmm. it's okay. You're yeah. allowed to be wrong. <laughs> no, there is no right or wrong. 17 to 7, old to new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, again, it's not that big of a difference, but I it's do that think huge. that there is a there is a slight difference. It's not a huge difference, not like with the Blantons. Yeah, correct. Well, I think before we move on to the next set, Chad, should we tell them about our Labor Day sale at WhiskeyAmbitions.com? We should tell them about our Labor Day sale at WhiskeyAmbitions.com. It's, it's at WhiskeyAmbitions.com. It is, and it's 15% off site-wide. That's even on sale stuff yeah. until uh, September 2nd, till the end of the day, September 2nd. There and also free shipping uh, on orders $75 or more, but you get the 15% off with code LABORDAY24. LABORDAY24, so that's where you can get our Glen Karen uh, tasting set, which is uh, very giftable. Go ahead and do some early uh, holiday Christmas shopping there for that. Of course, t-shirt that I'm wearing, These, <laughs> all these 10 Glen Karens all these glens. that and, we have. And the lens covers that we're lens using. Lens covers we're using, uh, hoodies, because it's getting colder and, and you might as well accept it, and, and bottle cut candles and more. It's always coming soon. That Labor Day sale is at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbon night for as little as one buck a month. And our patrons get an even better Labor Day sale discount. Speaking of patrons. Uh, and we really do appreciate them. We do it just to show them that we love them and we appreciate them. But we also show them that through our exclusive barrel picks, which they get access to, uh, access to events after the episode, exclusive content with us and more. There you go. All right, we're going to take a little break because we've got two more. Three, three more. Three more. Oh, boy, of these. That's uh, why I was like, quit drinking. <laughs> yeah, I need a little palate uh, refresher. We'll be right back after this. All right, new cup moved down like an Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> Change places. <laughs> Change places. Okay. It's well. a very, very unbirthday to me. To ah. You. What? What? It's a very, very... Very, very unbirthday. Oh, it was okay. a very merry unbirthday. I was thinking, because you do have a birthday coming up. I was just, to yeah. me, to you. Oh, no? right. All right. Oh, you're allowed to sing songs and make <laughs> pop culture references, but no one else. But if I don't so immediately get wow. it. Wow. Hmm. It's just it's just out. Yeah. Well, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this was Heaven Hill. And that's a pretty solid guess, since two of the three that are left are from Heaven Hill. I do get a slight nuttiness that would indicate Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. but... It's that like musty, slightly nutty kind of thing going on that makes you think that it just might be. But who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I don't... You know who will know? You. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say until after we taste it. Then I'll weigh in. Is it to their health again? Every always time? Always to your always. health. Always. Yeah. No. Not Heaven Hill. No. Way too light. Too light? Mm -hmm. What's that? It, the nose was so dramatically much... better. This dramatically better nose. Tastes oxidized, potentially. Or very char bitter. Very char bitter. I don't know about that. I don't want another sip of that. No, thank you. Noses are about the same. You yeah. Know, that, that nuttiness that doesn't carry through to the palate. I'll tell you what, I don't care for either of these. Yeah. I see, I see what you're saying. It's, uh, what is it? <laughs> I do like one better than the other, <laughs> but uh, I don't care for yeah, either of them. I agree, I'm ready. Okay, ready? ready? All right. Three. Two, two, one. one. Yeah. All right. And this is... Wild Turkey. This is the 2016. Okay. And which, that is the modern day, which is Wild so Turkey, strange. Wild Turkey, 81 proof. And I just realized we didn't pull the bottles up on the last one. That's our bad. Oopsies. Uh, but this is the 2024 uh, Wild Turkey, 81 proof. 
And this is the 2016? 2016. Sarah, this is start of IBN's channel. Wow. 2016 bought this for the original 50 under 50. Obviously, we don't enjoy much We don't out of it. drink a lot of Wild Turkey 81. That's how old it is. That's how long it's been opened. The weird thing, Chad, is that I thought the first one I had, which was a 2024, tasted bitter and oxidized. So I thought there was a potential that it could have been the older one and could have been open kinda, and suffered from yeah. contact with the air. Well, incorrect. This one's fine. That, I don't care for either of them, but that makes sense. True. I, we want to give as much information about these bottles as we can. This was purchased today and cracked. Now, Within the last half hour. What we were going to do, and this sort of feeds into our bourbon hunting videos, I did a little mini bourbon hunt because I realized we didn't have a Wild Turkey Kentucky Spirit that was in it more recent than 2019. We had a mm. 2017, and then the next one with the bottle redesign was 2019. That's not a big enough So I ran out to yeah. three stores trying to find it nowhere to be found no so luck. we pivoted and went with the 81 here we go so two, there yeah two more points for old you're right well so Pulling it's away. basically impossible for new to win at this point but let's well, continue it couldn't to have won, but it could have made it to where it could have closed the like gap you need to win by five for it to be defended for it to be so defended. it could have done it could have it could have prevented it could have made a stalemate basically. no such luck today number four sarah here we go everyone's having a good time I mean, I'm tasting 10 bourbons. I'm not having a bad time. <laughs> and I'm Tim Bourbons. Ooh, yes. This is rich, silky, smooth, a little vintage-y funk. We know we do still have one left of these last two that, eh, let's be honest, is probably vintage. Yeah, um, this but... one smells pretty classic nose, pretty straightforward. <sighs> Yeah, not anything caramel. shocking mm. to me, not anything I wouldn't expect to get on the shelf today. But I don't know, that's just the nose. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. It's fine. It's pretty standard in terms of today's stuff. Okay, so it starts off vintagey. It's got the funk. Then a nice little citrus pop comes in. I do feel like it's maybe, you know, lower proof. <laughs> I'm kind of pulling on the uh, context clues of what's left here. There's only two things left. Yeah. Let's not do that. Okay, we, okay. Don't, we won't do that, <laughs> but I want a second sip. Says me, the person who always says that. Mm -hmm. Switch. I don't need a second sip. Wow, yeah, oh, that's the a nose on this one. Wow. wow. This one's going to be easy as well, I think. A little dried peanut brittle on that second sip. See oh, you... okay. As opposed to the wet peanut brittle. Brittle, I try, by I try, definition, I is I try, um, dry. So. I try, folks. Yeah, yeah, good nose, standard, like it. No contest. This one's easy. These have all been pretty easy. Yeah, I get the DNA of that one, but it's much thinner. Yeah, much thinner. A little harsher. Mm -hmm. It's it's, it's lack. If you're doing EQ, it's lacking the low end. Mm -hmm. It's all mids and highs. Okay. Maybe more mids. Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yeah. Okay. What we got, Sarah? This is the Evan Williams single barrel from 2003. And this one is the Evan Williams Single Barrel from 2024. We bought it on a hunting video, our Richmond hunting video, mm. uh, challenge edition, where we had to go out of town. Now this 2003 <laughs> is a tasty treat. <laughs> um, but I will say <laughs> it uh, did crumble. The cork did crumble, so we did have to straight, double strain and pour into a new bottle. And even still with all that, it's markedly better. Markably. Markedly. Marketed, marketably better. They can sure. market it better. Mm -hmm. Specs wise, 2015 to 2024, so that makes us nine years. What you got back there? Uh, yeah, I put that there, sorry. sorry. 93 to 2003, so, so. 10 years. Oh yeah, that's true. Okay, so a 10 year versus a nine year. Single barrels also, you know, that happened in the Henry McKenna thing. It's happened, well, in this episode, the blends. The blends. So there's that, but. But there's 21 years apart. Yeah. 21 years apart, Mark. Markedly. 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 I don't know. Is that right? I think it's right. No, you keep saying it. It's when a word loses its meaning when you say tour. it too much. Tour. Markedly. Tour. Different. Tour. Markably. Remarkably. Tour. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. All right, let's move on. Last one. Okay. Last, but I don't know, maybe least. No, it's not. Um, I really no, like that Evan is. Williams. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I really liked that Evan Williams. I honestly can't remember what we have. Oh, I do now. Well, yeah. shoot. All right, so Why'd we know what it that? is, but we don't know what well, you knew. It can only be one thing. There can only be one. Yeah. It's Highlander edition. Oh, oh my goodness. But also, gracious. oh ho ho. I mean, maybe not as oh ho ho. I don't know. I haven't smelled that one, but this is a really good nose. I feel wow. like this is from Heaven Hill. I feel like it's 100 proof. I feel like it's bottom bond. You're so full of it. I mean, 
I could give nosy notes, but it wouldn't be too much different than what we've been saying. It's also like, very classic. This one is also playing the hits, the caramel vanilla, you know. This smells so layered and complex and just so much personality in this. It's good nose too, sir. It's like really developed classic notes though. To your health. That's good. This is good too. Oh, this one just keeps going and building. I don't I want a second. Switch. Yeah, I don't want a second sip. I want to switch. Oh. Strangely, like going from the first one to the second one, I'm getting like a slightly sour note on the second one that I'm trying, which reminds me of almost like an IPA, which is strange, like a citrus sour kind of grassy thing, but not in a youthful way. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, wow. These are not as much of a difference as I was expecting. And it's also the fifth one, so we do have a little bit of palate fatigue. Yeah, but I still feel like I'm tasting pretty pretty thoroughly. This one does have this like grassy, little hotter, slightly IPA note to it, but I, I don't dislike it. I actually like the texture and everything else that's going on with it. Now I'm gonna have a second sip. It has a little bit of a vintagey funk to it too. But from a quality standpoint, overall quality and drinkability, huh. I'm a little puzzled on this one. Me May I have this too. pack? Yeah, yeah, that's just what I was thinking. I think it's because this is because obviously we know, we don't know which is which, but we know what this one is, unfortunately. And I'm, I really feel like it's because it's the fifth, you know, we've had, the, what, eight? Four? Eight. <laughs> eight, right, Good job. eight before this. <laughs> How's math work, Sarah? Uh, apparently you don't know. Yeah, I'm liking the nose much better on this one now. I think, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm split on this oh, one. Oh, dang. I think I, I have an answer. I do too. All right. Three, two, two one. one. It's very close. I think the note that I got, that like citrusy, earthy thing going on there is what, for me personally, overall experience just was not as much up my alley as I thought this one was a little more drinkable for everybody and for myself today. Okay. I know what the answer is already because of the smug face you're making. <laughs> um, this is the 13 and this is the nine. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Scoreboard. It's what, eight to 22? Or no, 22 yeah. to eight. That's what I said. 22 yeah. to eight, yeah. Old to new. Old so to new. That's pretty definitive. So we are def definitive. Well, let's bring out the bottle, Sarah. All right, so 25th anniversary, we did an episode on this. It was distilled in 1999, which is when Heaven Hill bought the Bernheim uh, distillery in Louisville. And this was the first Old Fitzgerald juice that they distilled, 1999. Then 13 years later, they vatted it. Mm. They waited until the 25th anniversary, which is this year, 2024, of them owning the Old Fitzgerald line, and then they bottled it. So this is a 13 year, but distilled in 99. This is a nine year, but distilled in 2009. So a 10 year difference in distillation here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I honestly really liked this one a lot better when we first opened it and towards the beginning of the bottle. Now that we're getting down towards- We gave a lot of- We gave a lot of- we did some sample Patreon. giveaways with our Patreon. We did some sample <laughs> giveaways with them. Since it's gotten down lower, I find that I'm liking this one less. Maybe that's where that sour note is coming is from for that, me. Is it that or is it eight other bourbons? Could be, I don't know. Yeah. But I just thought this one was a little more approachable, drinkable, overall enjoyable as it is right now in this right. class. Yeah. Both are great. It's weird because this one was released in 2024 20, and this one was released in 2018, although the distillation is 10 years in the opposite. Slightly confusing, but I, yeah. I think y'all can keep up. Yeah. <laughs> so definitively. Definitively, we are answering the question because we could only do so many. two more of these if we find a Kentucky Spirit and that's not enough for a full episode. So I think no. we're gonna call it. Final score, 22 votes for old and eight votes for new. So it's not a clean sweep. And we were split on three mm -hmm. total of, sure. of the, I guess, 15 rounds that we did. We were split decision on three of those. It seems pretty definitive, yeah. statistically. Damn. We definitely lean way more. Which is bad for us and everybody. It's bad news. It means that they don't it is make it getting like they worse. They don't make it like they used to. That's not great, but we're still gonna keep trying them and, and drinking more bourbon. And, Absolutely. Um, the good news is, is that a lot of places are ramping up their production and they're able to age things for longer now because of the boom in bourbon. People have started to prepare themselves for that success. So hopefully it catches back up from where it has been the last couple of years. Hopefully, it could also be a, a, a age of trees making the barrels. We don't actually know the variables, so variables causing so it. Yeah. yeah, but uh, 
hopefully somebody recognizes this like we do and, and tries to turn it around. Just don't drink the old stuff and you won't know what you're missing. That's, that's the takeaway. That's also true. That's the, that's the takeaway. Sometimes ignorance is bliss. Uh, isn't it though? Well, hey, that's... Ah, <laughs> what a way to end it. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we'll see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Okay, until next time, drink more older bourbon. <laughs>